Let's see how we can convert a hexadecimal number to decimal for a GCSE computer science exam. So let's say in the exam that you're asked to convert the hexadecimal number 5e into decimal. How do we do that? Well, the first step to do is to convert this number here into binary. And in fact, what we'll do is convert each of these numbers separately into binary. So what we'll do is we'll start with our traditional binary numbering system or place value table, one, two, four, eight. But we're only going to need to have four columns. We're doing each of these digits separately. So we write one, two, four, eight, and then we again write one, two, four, eight. And what we're going to do is to convert the five here into binary and the E into binary. Let's start with the five first of all, because that's probably easier to understand. So how do we convert five into binary? Well, that's straightforward. It's the four and the one. So we put a one under each of those two columns and fill in zeros in the rest. So five in binary is zero, one, zero, one. But what about E? What we have to remember here is that this is a hexadecimal number using 16 digits, not a decimal number. So let's think about what E actually is. The best way of doing this is to write out all of the 16 digits that you can get in hexadecimal. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, and F. F being the last or the highest digit in hexadecimal. So we can see that once we get to nine, we continue counting, but using letters instead. So we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So F is simply the digit we use to represent the number 15. So now that we understand we've got this hexadecimal number list, what is E in hexadecimal as a value? Well, if we look down here, E is here. So what is that? Let's count along. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So E is 14. How do we make 14? Well, the 8, the 4, and the 2 together add up to 14. Let's fill in the 0 in the column we don't need. So 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1, and E is 1, 1, 1, 0. Now that we've converted each of those digits individually into binary, it's time to put them together into one single number. So I'm going to remove the split between the two. I'm going to remove those four digits on the left hand side. And what I'm going to do is turn this into a more traditional eight digit or one byte binary number. So we continue this numbering system, one, two, four, eight, 16. Oh, I'll just do that in red just to keep it the same. So 16, 32, 64, and 128. And now all we have to do is look at each of these numbers with a one underneath them and add them up. So these are the digits, you know, the numbers or the values here that have a one underneath them. So let's add them up. 64 plus 16 is 80, plus the eight is 88, plus the four is 92, plus the two is 94. And so the answer is that 5e in hexadecimal is 94 in decimal. And that's all there is to it. Remember, in your exam, 
you will need to show you're working out as well as the answer. In fact, you'll often find that the questions are two marks. One mark is for the answer and the other mark is to show your calculations or working out. And it is sometimes possible to get one of the marks even if the other thing that you do is incorrect. So you may be able to get one mark for showing your method and calculating even if in the end you calculate this or add this up incorrectly. Of course, what you want to do is to get both marks, and so it's important to show you're working out and make the answer, the final answer, really clear.